Our dreams have come true yeah. and we have Christmas stockings. Yeah. Oh, I got Good morning, welcome to my wow, second wow. day of Christmas. Wow. Today has been so much different than I thought it would be. First of all, I'm sick, as you can probably tell in my voice. And yesterday I came down with something, I don't even know what, but I pretty much canceled almost every plan I had this week. I was already like, oh, that one's pink. My favorite color is blue. I was already overwhelmed with everything that I had scheduled for this week because it was something almost every single day. And then I started feeling sick. So finally I just told Eric, I am just canceling everything. Like I cannot go on with this week the way that it's planned. Thank you, that looks so pretty. I did keep one plan that I had and that was yesterday. I took my friend's family pictures because she was literally driving two hours to come so I could take her pictures and I was like, I cannot cancel that at the last second. So I did that and then when I went to bed last night, I literally thought like tomorrow morning, I am going to be just on the couch all day. I felt so awful. I thought it was gonna end up being a day where the girls just watch TV all day, which I've never really had to do, but I was like, if I feel like this tomorrow, I can't do anything and I woke up and I feel a lot better so we're actually doing some productive things today and I'm vlogging which was my original plan and then I kind of like canceled that but today I am going to try to decorate the fireplace area I'm just now realizing that Eric probably will not want me to put nails into the mantle without him but I wanted to hang the stockings up but he's not here. It does still need to be sanded down, so it's not too big of a deal if I put nails in it, but I just got done with morning playtime with the girls, and it's so cute because they're like interacting so much more with each other now. So we read some books, played with toys, and sang songs, and we did a lot of it together, which is so cute. Quinn even wants to read books to Bria, which is just so sweet. Anyway, I put on Mickey's Toys Upon a Christmas for her, that I can do a little bit of decorating and a lot of times I let this be some of her screen time anyway while Bria's taking her nap. It's like a nice little morning break for me after I've played with them for a while. So first thing I think I'm going to do is put up this little advent calendar. It's kind of broken on the top, but I think it'll be fine once it's hanging. I'm pretty sure I got this in the Target dollar section last year, but I really don't remember. I never ended up putting it up or using it, but this year I want to, we'll see. I. We'll see how many days I like find stuff for it. It looks a little funny because I forgot there were two nail hooks. Also, the heater vent is right below it, so it's blowing out. So I might get some tape and tape it to the wall. Okay, I quickly came in my room to show you a couple things that I'm putting in the advent calendar for the girls. It's mainly for Quinn, although some of it Bria will be a part of too, but like I think Quinn will definitely enjoy most of it more. She's probably gonna follow me in here because she just asked what I was holding and I said it was a surprise for later, but I'm putting this little jar of glitter for day one. I got this in the Target dollar section and we have a library book checked out right now that's all about glitter. So we'll do a little craft or something with this glitter. She'll love this. And then I also got a little pack of cookie cutters from Aldi the other day. So I'll put this in one day. The other things I still need to get out, but I have new Christmas stickers for her for one of the days. Um, we're going to see Christmas lights two different times that I know of so far. So I'll probably find some kind of an extra Christmas light in the Christmas decoration boxes and put them in there. I don't even remember what else, but I definitely don't have 25 ideas so far. I am not gonna be like an elaborate advent calendar person. If you want really good advent calendar ideas, Kylene Rodriguez is your girl. She makes the prettiest advent calendar and like so many ideas. I actually need to go look at her list and get some more ideas because it's like insane how fun and beautiful she makes the advent calendar. I'm definitely not at that level. I'm more on the simple side. Maybe someday I will be there, but this is my first year even doing it at all, so. Probably not smart to be doing this with her in the same room, but I don't think she noticed. It's kind of hot.
finish the tree and apparently it's more fun to take the ornaments off than put them on so <laughs> I'll probably be picking up ornaments off the floor all December but she's having fun so it's fine it also looks a little funny just sitting there but what did it fall I'm not really sure where else to put it right now I might rearrange things later and maybe put it up here or something we'll see also while we were decorating it I thought I should have put one of these little ornaments in the advent calendar and save this for like December 1st, which is in two days and done it then, but I didn't think about it. So I probably will get a tree, a little small one for Bria's room. They're like $5 and I still have a ton of extra little ornaments. So I'll still do that and put an ornament in the calendar and we'll decorate Bria's tree one day. And Eric is about to hang the stockings. Daddy, hold on fire, please. Almost. I don't remember if I even showed the finished product of how I decorated this. Actually, I don't think I did. So I put up the garland up there. I hung this garland, but he's going to help me fix that too because it's draping a little bit lower than I want it to. But I couldn't, I couldn't get it any higher with what I was working with without nails hammered in. I did this little setup here and this over here. I don't know if I'm, I'm probably not leaving that white lantern there and I don't know if I'm leaving this all how it is. I'm really not sure what I think about that sign being right there. It says Jesus is the reason for the season, which I love, but it makes this whole area look super farmhouse. Farmhouse just isn't my style and shiplap alone makes it look really farmhouse. We'll see. I don't really have anything better to put there. It might end up staying. Eric said he likes it there, so we'll see. I got out all of our Christmas books, which is keeping Quinn so busy. <laughs> Do you like your Christmas books? Yeah, she's already read through this entire stack two different times today. This is her third time going through it. I put this red blanket here and then obviously I need to switch out the orange pillows and get my Christmas pillows out. That might be the last decorating thing that I really need to do other than switching out my letter board up there, finishing the advent calendar and then getting a little tree for Bria's room. Our dreams have come true yeah. and we have Christmas stockings this year. <laughs> but I am really happy with it. I think it looks so cozy. It is 1040. I've been sitting here editing my first day of Christmas vlog because that has to go up two days from now and I wanna try to get a head start on videos so that I don't get too behind. So I just finished the rough cut for that. I haven't put in any of the extra stuff, but I still need to finish up a couple things on my Christmas graphics. It's so crazy because I'm a morning person. I thrive 
getting things done in the mornings and since waking up at 5 I look even more forward to the mornings and you would think that I would almost dread it like I'm going to bed and I'm dreading that I have to get up at 5 but I'm like excited like I want to just get the night over with so it can be 5 and I can wake up and get my stuff done. I have a super long list right now of things I need to do when the girls are sleeping at night and sleeping in the morning so hopefully I can get a few things checked off. guys i apparently either didn't set my 5 a.m alarm last night or turned it off when it went off and i have no memory of it so that kind of stinks i just woke up with the girls <clears throat> and took my shower i'm about to make some chicken sausage for breakfast i always get chicken sausage from aldi i usually get like an apple one that we all love but they didn't have it so i can actually smell this a little bit i haven't been able to smell or taste my food in like Two days now. I came so close to putting away the Love Every Play mat yesterday, just since Bria's more on the move and we need more room in this room. And I didn't have a chance to put it away and I'm so glad I didn't because Quinn asked for a tent this morning and this worked out perfectly. I don't know if I've even shown this thing, but the playmat comes with this little tent cover so you can take your baby outside or whatever. We did use it outside a couple times in the summer for shade. They're pretty entertained, so I'm probably going to try to get ready. Not anything fancy, but just, you know, mom ready. Early on the snow. Go, go. Cause I can't afford one that fits better I must be bloated from my dinner Cause just last year my reflection was thinner Ain't it funny how we grow And then it really starts to show When When they placed it on his head, what's on hat? He began to dance what's around. Hat? Oh, the hat made him dance around. When they put the hat on his head, he started dancing. Quinn is done for her nap, and Bria is still asleep. It's that time of day where she could wake up at any second. Probably gonna try to get my first day of Christmas vlog completely finished up with the time that I do have that she's still sleeping because I have to post that in the morning and I still need to add in all the extra stuff since I didn't wake up early this morning, that's what I was gonna do. And I need, need to edit this vlog. I have a photo shoot that I need to start working on to get the pictures back to somebody. I have lots of things that I could do but I'll probably only get to one of them before Bria wakes up. So I'm going with my vlog, finishing that up. Cause I can't afford one that fits better I must be bloated from my dinner Cause just last year my... Look who's up! <laughs> I got my graphics finished up. I got some of my Christmas music picked out to go in the vlogs. I usually pick out the music to go in my 12 days of Christmas vlogs like a month in advance because I love picking the Christmas music out or just any of the music for my vlogs, but I'm so behind this year that I'm literally doing it the day before I post it, so fun. <laughs> I think we're going to go eat some soup. She just took her whole nap with no passy. Today was my goal day, it's November 30th, to have her passy completely gone, and it's not, but we're close, so that's okay. If she hadn't been teething so bad this week, I think we could have had it gone, but there were a few times when I just, like, it was the only thing to make her happy and I was gonna, 
I didn't want her to be miserable if she didn't have to be. Since I'm sick, you know I made soup. This might be one of my favorite times I have ever made it. And it's because I added broccoli in. I chopped it up so small. I added in broccoli. I don't know how I have never tried this before, but I love it. I think since I've like pretty much perfected the recipe how I like it now, I'm going to try to type it up this week and then I'll share it in one of my next vlogs. The girls have been downing this and I have been downing it. This is all that's left. So I'm just gonna have it for Bria and me for lunch because we're the ones with the most then it really starts to show when it's been a year Christmas is here We are back at Target getting a little tree for Bria's room I just needed to get out of the house, so we came to Target. I don't remember where I got Quinn's tree, but I don't think it was at Target because hers looks, Quinn's looks nicer than this, but I guess this is what I'll get. They even have these little things for the mini tree. I guess I'll get these because that would make them look a lot cuter. We got you a Christmas tree. I am in the process of making dinner. Bria is a mess from all her snacks from the store. She's also a mess because she missed her second nap. So she's probably going to bed after dinner, even though it'll be a little early, but she's so ready. Quinn fell asleep in the car on the way, like right when we got home from Target, when we were in our neighborhood. And Quinn never falls asleep in the car. So both girls are just like super overtired. They're gonna have some early bedtimes. I'm trying to get dinner made as quick as possible. I made a fast meal tonight. This is gonna be pesto pasta. I have the girls pasta cooking in here right now because I did chickpea pasta for them. I think I've shown this, but a lot of times when I make pasta meals, I switch this out for the girls. Here's the recipe, one of my favorites. I feel like I always say that, but I do always share my favorite recipes. Like this is a really good pasta recipe. Good job. What you doing? Uh, <laughs> making ice cream. Vanilla, peanut butter, and chocolate chips. Yep. It's honestly like better than if you bought chocolate chip peanut butter ice cream, I think. Do you think? Yeah, because I put more chunks of chocolate chip in there. It is 6.45 and both girls are in bed and Bria went down at 6. So the night is young. I just got most of the dishes done except the ones that need to be hand washed, which is just the knives and straws tonight and my old pan. So I'm gonna try to finish straightening up. That table's also a mess as usual, so I need to fix that, but. Okay, I am going to put the fairy lights on this tree just to save us some time tomorrow so that Quinn can just help me put the ornaments on because the lights would not be fun for her. They had these little fairy lights in different colors. So I just got warm white. I hope that's what I wanted. I don't really know. That turned out really cute. I'm excited to decorate it with Quinn tomorrow now. I love this little thing. That's so cute. Now I wanna go back and buy the gold one for mine and Eric's room because we used to put the small tree in our room. Now it's the girl's tree. I did get a few more things for the advent calendar. So I am gonna rearrange it from how I had it before and I'm gonna put this little mini ornament in day one for tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll put ornaments on the tree for her room. I still don't know yet exactly what order these are all gonna go in and I can tell you right now, I am not going to have 25 things in that calendar. Part of me felt a little wasteful spending this much 
or like getting this many little trinkets that the only thing that's gonna happen with them is like pull them out of the pocket and that's it but then i thought about it in another way which is it's like paying for a little christmas experience for quinn and Brio when she gets older it'll probably reuse these same things or like most of them every year some of them we won't like this will be used up once we use it the little thing of glitter but other things will be reused every year so also it's 25 dollars, and that sounds like nothing <laughs> so like i would easily pay 25 dollars for like a decoration that i really really liked or something and i love the idea of this so i'm like i would spend 25 dollars for it it just feels like a lot of stuff even though it's tiny and then at target tonight this was in the dollar section. It's a little tiny wooden presents on a string. So I'll put this in on a day when we're going to wrap presents so she can help me wrap presents. All these things I'm showing right now I got in the dollar section at Target. So this one is a little gingerbread on a pan. It's also an ornament. I had already decided I really wanted to make gingerbread this year. Maybe we'll do it with my mom because she's better at all that kind of stuff than me. But Eric said he loves gingerbread and ever since then I knew I wanted to make some this year because I never have. I'll put this in for whatever day we're going to make gingerbread. They had a bunch of little stamps. This one said Merry Christmas. So one day we'll make little Christmas notes or Christmas cards for people and she can use this stamp. I just realized I need to get an ink pad for this. That'll go in one of the later days because I need to get that. And then they had these. They're little wooden nutcrackers. And I remember seeing on Kylene's advent calendar, one of her things was painting nutcrackers and maybe she had these same ones i don't remember but as soon as i saw these in the dollar section they were three dollars but i thought that would be so fun because we do paints all the time so i thought it would be so fun for her to paint these little nutcrackers she'll probably love that and that's what i have so far so one two three four five six seven things i also have christmas stickers for her but i couldn't really find anything to put in there so i might just like write it on a little paper or something cute okay this is getting more fun as it's filling up the spots are definitely too small like I could not even fit this in the pocket so I'm gonna see if Eric can like cut this down a little bit so I can at least fit it in and the nutcracker is so obvious <laughs> I forgot I also said I was gonna put a little Christmas light in for whatever day we're gonna go see Christmas lights she also has a little Mickey Mouse figurine toy and I'm gonna put that in one of the spots for a day that Julie's gonna come over and we're gonna watch there's a new Disney Mickey Christmas movie on Disney Plus and I actually put it on for her the other day but I don't remember if we finished it or not and I want to watch it. Eric picked out these elf on the shelf band-aids in the dollar section too so I'm going to put these in her stocking. She's literally only needed a band-aid like one time in her life so far but they're a cute little stocking stuffer and once she sees them she'll probably need a band-aid right away so that'll be fun for her. We don't even do Elf on the Shelf, but she has watched a couple of the movies that are on Netflix or whatever they're on. I don't even remember, but they have movies out about Elf on the Shelf, and she's seen a couple of those, so she'll just remember the little faces from the show. Okay, I will be sitting here for the rest of the night till I go to bed. I have two vlogs to finish editing. Well, one of them I haven't even started. Probably won't get all of that done, but I also need to edit pictures that I took, plan more videos for 12 days of Christmas. I'm gonna do a QA and a one day. I also wanna film my 5 a.m. morning routine probably next week, so by the time you see this video. If there's anything else specific you would want me to film for 12 days of Christmas, let me know. I will see you in my next video for day three. Bye, guys.